I'm motivated by two things. The first is a strong scientific curiosity, and the second is to apply that in a way that's going to be of benefit to patients. From a very early age, I was really interested in how things worked, and I, I always used to take every toy I had apart and uh, occasionally got them back together again in working order. So I think when we got to school and, and started getting biology lessons and started understanding how life worked, that was incredibly exciting. I work in functional genomics, which as the name suggests is about the study of gene function, but doing it at a really large scale. So we can use gene editing technologies such as CRISPR to adjust the activity of genes either up or down or remove them altogether. And we can do that in multiple cell types. We can use that to study what those genes are doing in that cell type, either alone, but also by adding in drugs, we can look at what those genes do to the response of that particular drug. So we're really involved in identifying the new targets that will enter the, the pipeline. Uh, they will then go into drug discovery, into clinical trials, and eventually through to be approved medicines. We have a lot of access to genetic databases, uh, either through publicly available data or through specific collaborations that we've got with the likes of 23andMe and FinGen and UK Biobank. We can then take that information and design functional experiments which we can run in-house either uh, using our own scientists or through our collaborative network. So what I'm excited about with the technologies that we've got now is the ability to run these at whole genome scale. And as an example of that, we ran an experiment recently with and without drug treatment, with experimental replicates, with multiple guides for every gene. We end up with a data set that's running into the tens of millions of data points, so it truly is vast. Even though we can run these huge experiments, we can't run the experiments of the scale that we'd like to. So what we want to be able to do is run the entire genome versus the entire genome. We're talking about 20,000 genes times 20,000 genes. That's 400 million interactions that we're looking at. That experiment is not possible at the moment. So that's where it becomes really important to have our colleagues in artificial intelligence and machine learning. And by running real experiments, feeding the data from that into their models, their models get better and better at predicting. So it allows us to make that impossible experiment possible. I've loved cycling for a long time, uh, ever since I got my first BMX at age eight or so. Uh, and I think cycling is pretty much whatever you want it to be. You can just go out and turn the pedals and just lose yourself in your thoughts. Or you can push yourself physically to the limit. But it's also incredibly sociable. So we've got a group of people that we ride with that are all either GSK or ex-GSK people, so we're quite a like-minded bunch. Because we're like-minded, it's a good opportunity sometimes away from the distractions of emails and meetings just to thrash out an idea or a problem.